It really, truly is sickening. I don't want to sit better than I am. I never had this in my life. <laughs> oh, my God, your eyes are Okay, don't touch. Okay, here it's it, Mom. The ABC 15 investigators dig deeper into the devastation some families say they've experienced in Maricopa County probate court. Families who thought they were doing the right thing, getting care for their loved ones, instead hurt by broken promises and financial ruin. As ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey reports, those victims are fighting back, and some of them are winning. Dennis Ball says he didn't get to see his mother the last eight months of her life. Cost to his family, about $1 million. Edward Abbott Ravenscroft says he was charged an average of $12,000 a month just so a court-appointed guardian could handle his expenses. Claire DeBardo fought to have her mother's wishes met. She says cost to the estate more than a half million dollars. And Kate and Bruce Hene and their little girl Charlie say they've been victimized too in Maricopa County Probate Court. Bruce was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. His wife Kate cared for him for three years and was exhausted. I said, well, where do I sign? The family agreed to have a guardian company, Sun Valley Group of Tempe, handle their expenses and help take care of Bruce. But after a long day of questioning by the company, Kate's joy began to fade. I have a gut feeling something's really wrong. Kate said the questions focused on money. Do you have any money here? I mean, do you have anything in the safe? Do you, do you have anything of valuable? Would you be, first question, would you be willing to sell your jewelry? In less than two weeks, all three of them say they were forced to leave their home and sell it. They say Bruce was sent to a nursing home and Kate and her daughter were out on the street. I dropped to my knees with one of the women, begging her not to kick me out. Now they live at a friend's house. All of their belongings are gone, including their house. Their jewelry and their collection of vintage cars, they say were sold by Sun Valley Group to pay for Bruce's care. My neighbors who went to the estate sale said, it looked like you guys both died in a car crash. The worst part, according to Kate, Sun Valley Group filed paperwork to force Bruce and her to divorce. She says neither of them wanted it. We love each other very, very much. Sun Valley didn't take that away, okay? Sun Valley Group would not comment on the Hene case. These victims and family members came together out of grief, but are now banding together to do something about it. After I started speaking to all these other people, we were comparing stories and it was all the same corrupt players. They filed a lawsuit against the state for what they call corruption in probate court, along with excessive fees and actions against families. The conduct of the probate division of, Sur of Superior Court is unacceptable. They've appealed to Senator John Kyle, who is on the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee. We have to take uh, measures to stop this. This is not right. And they've complained to head Maricopa County Judge Norman Davis, who refused our request for an interview. Failed to protect the vulnerable adults of Maricopa County. I don't want to sit better than I am. I never had this in my life. <laughs> 27 months after her family's ordeal began and following a series of ABC 15 investigations, Claire finally feels like she's been heard. I'm actually still stunned. A temporary fill-in judge pressured the attorneys in Claire's mother's case to waive their fees. This is a victory for not just my mom, but for all the victims of the probate court. Claire calls it a step in the right direction. And other changes are coming to Maricopa County Probate Court, but not without a fight. Wrongdoing is tolerated and supported. ABC 15 investigators were there for the first ever public hearing to address complaints against sitting judges. The state legislature ordered this new review process. The audit reports are public. There's also a task force in place to investigate complaints. The state Supreme Court ordered that review. And the probate system made one change of its own. If a guardian doesn't do what a judge orders, they could face fines. While the procedure's new, the rule's old. A judge has always been able to issue fines against anyone who doesn't comply. It didn't seem like they were really listening, so perhaps maybe they are. A federal investigation found that probate courts in Arizona and 45 other states are failing to properly protect vulnerable adults from their court-appointed guardians. Now, we have developed a special web page designed to show our extensive probate court coverage. You could post your probate experiences here. You can watch what others say happened to them in probate court. And we take you inside our investigations, sharing experiences we've had exposing probate issues.
I'm investigator Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News.